right, today we're putting the seats on these uh, shovel heads. We're grinding them down to, uh, to location. We start out usually by uh, sharpening the stone. These seats are too hard to cut with a cutter, believe it or not. We've got, uh, take a look over here, we've got a variety of cutters. You know, we've got all the cutters in the world, but they won't cut these seats. They, these things have to be ground. Now I'm just finishing up this set, so uh, I'll just show you how it goes here. Something like that. Then we check it for height. Bring it over here. Drop the valve in. It's got to be a specified height. And the way we get that is a certain distance from the casting. And this one's right on the money. I can, I can grind these things within five thousandths by eye using this ruler. Okay, so that one's right on the money. If you want to take a close look at it, that's what it looks like when the seats are roughed out to height. Okay, now that we've got our, height, uh, our seats uh, ground to height, we're going to uh, lap the valves in, which will give us a nice clear uh, idea of uh, what we've got. Let's get, uh, get our valves going here. Here we go. We've got a tricky mix of uh, valve grinding compound that that's required to cut these seats because they're so hard and so tough. And sometimes we, we will have to go in here and do it a couple of times. Also, we use some, some cutting oil. Just a couple of drops usually will do it. And a couple of more drops just for the hell of it. I usually lap them until the compound quits cutting. I can still hear it's cutting, so I'm I'm going to I'm going to continue to to lap it. Okay, let's see what we've got. Wipe the valve off. Take a look at it. Spin it around. Perfecto window. Okay, that was good. Let's see what we got here. Okay, camera, we got a we got it the first try. Take a look at that lap job. You'll see there's a little shiny metal on the inside. We're gonna uh, undercut that and take it away and polish it. In fact, we're, we're gonna be going for it in a second. I'm gonna lap the exhaust valve first. Okay, here we go with the exhaust valve. Did you get a good focus on it? Okay, here we go with the exhaust valve. I keep the stick locked up. You know why, don't you? Because I have to lick it. Everybody gets their seats left. We don't send a head out without doing it. All right, let's see what we've got. Looks good to me. Yes, it is. 
Come on in and focus up on this one. Okay, there's an exhaust seat. 60 thousandths wide. Just remember that little bit of shiny metal on the inside is gonna get gonna get tapered and polished away. So the airflow will come right up and around the valve seat. Just uh, seeing as how we got the exhaust up here, let's just go ahead and start the exhaust. Um, pull up the got to use this glove with a little pad in the middle so I can lean on the harbor like that and it doesn't tear my hand up. Okay, let's see. Next thing we're going to do is put our little springy ding in here. We're going to have to uh, sharpen this stone as well, right about there. All this does is give us a nice round undercut. Okay, here we go. This is kind of a tricky part in that it uh, sometimes makes a lot of noise and the stone jumps around and stuff. All it takes is a little bit. Let's see what we've got here. Now that looks pretty good to me. Did you see how quick that happened? Right on the money. Okay, let's go to the intake side and do the same thing. Just takes a second to change arbors and uh, we're ready to go for the intake side. Have a look, see. Happens mighty fast. Guy's got to be really on his toes to stop at the right place. Plus, these stones have been known to explode at this angle. Okay, you can keep keep rolling because we're we're just uh, we're just going for it now. Next thing we're going to do here, real quick, we're going to polish. We're going to polish this guy. Um, I should be all set up for it. Let's see if I am. Yes, we are. Okay. This is a cartridge rule. It's already been broken in for this uh, specific purpose. And um, you never put a brand new cartridge rule in one of these things when you're working this with this delicate situation here. This is something all them fancy cutters can't do for you, you know? <laughs> Sit still for me now. we did. That looks pretty good. I like it. I like it. Okay, let's do the intake. Okay, sit still. Sit still. Like a kid, you know, keep telling it to sit still. Or the dog when you want to take his picture. You know what I mean?
Usually they sit still for me. Looks like today I'm having a little harder. Slight explosion there. Okay, let's try it again. You can never trust these cartridge rolls. Some of them are good and some of them are bad. Okay. Let's take a look. See. That looks pretty good to me. I'm satisfied with that. You want to take a take a close look on the two of them? Go ahead. That ensures we get the maximum amount of low lift flow. It's really all that simple. Like I said, again, it's not something you can buy a cutter to do. It's got to be done by a professional. What I did is I went, went back and I relapped the seats, the ones we just polished, so you guys could get a good focus on them and get to appreciate the, uh, the cleanliness and the precision of this, this kind of work that we do here at Flow Dynamics. There's very few places in the world that are capable of this kind of, this kind of uh, precise work by hand. It's all done by eye and by hand. We don't use any fancy machinery. We use it the good old fashioned way in the USA. Ed, we've just finished it up. We finished polishing the combustion chamber and uh, this portion of the job is complete. We're gonna let the camera in on, uh, zoom in here and take a good look at it. Take your time, focus up. You might you know, look at one side, then look at the other side. As you can see, all the sharp edges are gone. Everything is nice and nice and polished and pleasing to the eye. Plus, there's going to be no hot spots in there, and it's going to work real well. We're not looking for any high polish situation. All we want is the things to be, uh, we just want them nice and clean. No high spots, no burrs, none of that stuff. All this mirror finish polish is a bunch of BS between you and me. All right, this guy's ready for the stamp of approval. We've put the quality into it, now let's put the stamp on it, what do you say? All I gotta do is get this guy squared up on here. Sometimes I have to hit this more than once. We'll see what happens. Maybe we can get it right the first try. Take a look. See how we did. If you pull off at an angle, you might be able to get some depth on it. Look around, see what see what the camera likes. 